BTU loads. I need to know the BTU of each appliance. This particular one is hard to see. And it is at an input of 88,000 BTUs. That is my furnace. Now let's go over the hot water tank. The hot water tank is 40,000 BTUs. Now whether or not you can see this one is a different story. This is the gas fireplace at 19,500 BTUs. I'm looking at the braiding plates for all these different numbers. All furnace rooms are created dark. Get used to it. So this gas pipe going up to the furnace here, going all the way up here until where it makes it to this junction right here. That has 88,000 BTUs that needs to be supplied through it. The smaller pipe here, that goes down to the hot water tank, down through here, has only 40,000 BTU requirement for it because the hot water tank is 40,000. So this pipe needs to feed 40,000 BTUs. That pipe to the furnace needs to feed 88,000. Now this pipe here, it's supplying both the furnace and the hot water tank. So 88,000 plus 40,000 BTUs equals 128,000. But now moving up and along here is that gas fireplace that was at 19,500. So this pipe is only going to require that 19,500 BTUs going to it to size properly. But this pipe right here, the one that heads off to the meter, that is now supplying all three. So we have 88,000 plus 40,000 plus 19,500. So the grand total on that is 147,500 BTUs. And that's what we'll need to size this piece of pipe on. So always look at it this way. Whatever that pipe is traveling to and supplying, is the amount of BTUs that you need to be adding up for it. So now we need to go take a look at our tables and figure out how to size this. That'll be on the next video though.